If you are a website agency and looking for an easy way to build unlimited websites and pages and accept clients providing simple website designs and services at a white label platform, you want to check the deal for today. Aaron. Today I want to share a new one-time fee software deal called AdPage. On my previous videos, I mentioned that I loved website building software, so no exceptions. I immediately purchased AdPage to check what is special about it. Before I jump into the software insight, I want to briefly talk to you why you cannot refuse the deal today. Create unlimited pages and websites. AdPage uses the Amazon Cloud front technology for the website's ultra-fast speed. Create forms, quizzes, and accept payments. Some features are coming soon. White labeled. You and your clients will not find ad page at anywhere. Your clients will have their login page to start to build their sites. As an agency, you can add customers and deletes. 100,000 monthly unique visitors per client account. If you exceed monthly visitors, we'll need them to upgrade. Easy to build websites. No coding skills needed. Website templates. One click to publish the page, you can choose either their subdomain name or your own domain name. Connect with your WordPress with landing pages by add page plugin. 60 days money back guarantee. All of these features you will need to pay only once. Now you're looking at the add page agency dashboard. I already created my agency account. If you want to change your account style, colors and uploading logo, you can go ahead and click this modify agency on the right side and you can set up your account name. So mine is iArt Idea Website Builder and hit next. This is where you can upload your logo, icon, and hero. The hero is for the splash page such as the login and register page. So I'm gonna show you how it looks in a minute. And when you're uploading all your image files, hit next. And this is where you can choose the color for your agency account. All your users will see the same color. You can set up the primary color. This is a secondary color, third, fourth and fifth so when you're done adding your color hit next and that's it if you have more than one code you can go to subscription page and you can redeem your code and right here you have to create the user in order to create websites so i already created mine right here if i want to add more customers i can click create customer add their name email address and password then add page will send an email to your customer your customer will not see add page at anywhere everything's white labeled so your customers will not see the add page logo or any information at anywhere inside of their account and the email. Once you create your customer's account, you can click on the view to check their how many projects they created, how many domain names they opened, and paid views. Projects and domains, they can create unlimited, but the paid views, each customer, they can have 100,000 visitors per month. You can click the modify user to edit their name, email address, and change password. You can also disable this customer's account account or delete completely. You can go ahead and click this login icon to access to their accounts. This is the customer's dashboard. They have a page views, leads in their campaigns, which is their websites right here. You can also take a look at on the bottom of the page. There is the, the button you can exit this account. Let me log out. This is the customer's login page. Welcome to iArt Idea Website Builder. This is my agent's name and this is the image that I added. As you can see, it's iartidea.pagency.me slash login. So your customers will not see add page of the brand at anywhere. They can go to settings, they can download this plugin to connect their landing pages into their WordPress site. So let's go to the projects and this is where you can create the websites. I already created three different websites to testing it. You can click the edit to edit your website or you can go to the actions to check the view leads publish this website or edit page is the same exact the same as the edit button on the left side and you can duplicate the product if you want to create a new product which is new websites here so i'm going to click this new product there are a few of the templates you can choose from let me choose just random one right here next page will show the preview so you can check the preview how it looks with the templates and it hits use blueprints and the product name will be my name 
and confirm. Now this is the editing page. You can look at the left side. There are some menus. First one is the save. The second one is the page, which is you can create multi pages in here. So the first one's the home page, the second one's the thanks page. You can delete or modify if you want to. If you don't want to keep them, you can click the delete. Let me go back here. It's already deleted. Go to the sections. It will show each one of the sections of this page. First one, as you can see, it's like blinking. Second and third, the section to drag and drop of the each section and it moved. Duplicate the section, hold the section here. And appearance, this is where you can choose your phone style. The headings to the... Let me choose this one here and also the paragraph to be the same and also general color design is a green but i can change to different color let me change to red now it's immediately to changing to this red color and also the icon as well and seo setting so you can change a page title to home or the different ones and keyword you can add any keywords you want for example and you can also upload the favicon from here if you have any coding to add you can add them from here and the last one is going to be the menu section i have only one page right now so let me just add one extra page about me and hit create now this is about me page Okay, this is about me page and let's go to the select for the home page you are looking at the home page when you go back to the menu section and you will find two different pages added. So I'll say this is the home. I'll choose home here and a create menu item. And the next one about me. I'll choose about me. That's how it works with adding the menu. But let me show you how you can edit each element. For the image, you can go ahead and click. Actually, they added a new feature to add the link to the image. It didn't have it before, so, so we have to delete it and add the image. And you will immediately to see you can add a link. So I'm going to click this the icon to upload my image. Now I'm going to just bring one random image from the website. It looks really big, right? I'm going to left click again. And this is how you can change height. Now it's 100, but I'm going to change to 30%. Of course, you can add your link right here. If you want to have a different color in the background or the adding the image or video, you can go ahead and click this, the gear icon. You can set up the image and also you can set up your video right here, YouTube or any Vimeo video. So we modify padding to the different size 100 100 and this is transparent so if you add your image right here and you can have a cover color and let me just go ahead and change this to 50 percent so if you want to add anything right below this image you can go ahead and click this plus sign again and if you want to have the button and change the alignment to the center you can add the spacer to having a little distance. I'm gonna change the height to 30 person maybe, and you can drag and drop to the between these two elements. Of course, you can change this button text. This is a button. I can change the color of this button, or I'm gonna change to bold and a white color. And also you can add a link right here. And this is the, the gear button is where you can change the size of the button. This is small, normal, and large. And you can change to full or auto. So when you're done with editing some parts, you can go ahead and click this to save. Now I want to add the new design between these two sections. So I'm going to click this three dots right here. And they have several different blocks, which is the designs. The first one covers. It shows some design here, but I want to add the menu. You can go to the headers and they have several different designs here. So I'm going to choose this black one, header 4, and it will immediately to show your logo right between these two. And as you can see, this is the menu part that I had added on the left side that I showed you in here how to set up the menu. Let me add another section by clicking these three dots again. And if I want to add a gallery, for example, this one here, gallery 2. Now they have four different images. For the text, you can go ahead and just choose edit. Let me add just the one random one right here. For example, icon text. I will change the color and that'd be heading one. To switch different image by clicking left and the icon on the middle. And this is the gallery. You can choose another icon. If you want to switch this section to the right, this section to the left. So you can go ahead and click this button to switch. You can set up the parallax. 
For the elements, you can go ahead and click this plus sign again and I'm going to show you what they have. Now first one is the text, image, button, spacer, icon, icon text, countdown, you can add the video, form, embed code, quiz, and menu. When you're done with the home page design, you can go ahead and save. If you want to preview the page, you can click this preview button. They have desktop version, laptop, tablets, and the phone. But I'm going to click here, publish. Now it's asking you to click the button again. Now it's offline. But when I click this publish, then it will go online. But you can choose your subdomain name, Aaron Peck, and confirm. It's Aaron Peck .products .webpages one So I'm going to copy and paste. As you can see, this page is working perfectly fine. If you want to do the custom domain, this is a little tricky one. All you need to do is adding your domain name with www.domainname.com. If this is your domain name, I'm going to hit add domain and add your domain name again, but without www. So that'd be domainname.com and hit add domain. I purchased domain names from this name silo.com. So this is how it looks on the manage DNS section. A record should always be like this, 165.227.160.79. And add this www for the host name and adding your C name to your subdomain name, which is it has created right here. So A record pointing to this and C name pointing to your domain name right here. And wait up a few minutes and then it will be showing your SSL to the active button and also the connect to the right below of this domain name. Let me go ahead and show you another domain name that how it looks. Let's go to the action and go to the publish. As you can see, my domain name has been connected and also the current value shows on the both of the section and SSL active. Now you're looking at their the ad page roadmap right now, planning many different things, team leader integration, and they have so many of them right here. And now they're working on the more templates. So that's pretty much it about this ad page. Hopefully you like this video and understand about the ad page software. And thank you so much for watching my video.